Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I wanted to show you how to take a soda can, polish the bottom of it for a really great solar collector. It does real well with char cloth ignition. We'll be using newspaper tender bundles this morning. And I've showed you the Blue Magic polishing cream that I use, metal polishing cream like eight dollars at an auto parts store so we'll be using that this morning but I wanted to show you in real time how long it takes to polish up the bottom of a soda can now we've all heard that you could use a chocolate bar and hand polish hand polish the bottom of a soda can it took me about fifteen minutes of polishing with a with a chocolate bar to see that that wasn't gonna work this is pretty quick so I don't have any cans on me at the house here, so let's do what I usually do when I need some soda cans for an alcohol stove or for solar collectors. Let's go get some off the side of the road. I'm just a little ways down the road. There's usually plenty of cans right in this corner here. Let's see what we can find. Never tried one of these. Looks like it should polish up though. Good old Bud Light, ain't it? That'll work. Oh, the stinking thing is full. <laughs> I don't believe that. Let's see what's on the other side of the road. Well. Looks like these two are it, doesn't it? Let's go polish them up. This is what we got to work with. And both of these concavities are the same size. So, what I want to do is show you in real time how quickly you can polish that up. And then, to save time, I'm going to cut this one in. I'm going to polish this up first, cut it in half, and then take that razor's edge and bend it over all the way around. And then we'll start uh, using this for the solar collector, solar projector. This collector is going to collect the sun's rays, the photons, in this parabolic curve. And then it's going to project it on back out, I don't know, about a half inch or so. Solar collector and projector. Projects it to a tight focal point. Alright, let's start timing this. And like any time you polish, the polish starts to discolor and turn black. It doesn't take long. The sun's going to be right here in a little bit. Maybe about the time we finish up with these two, the sun will be just right. In the summertime, the trees have so many leaves on them and they're so tall that I only have just this small area right here at my boardwalk to do these solar experiments. But in the wintertime, I have this whole area right here for the sun to get through.
All right, let's buff all that off and see see how shiny it is. Well, I didn't get the very center of it clean enough. They're still shiny enough. So let me go back and do it one more time, see if I can get some of that, a little bit of cloudiness out of there. Otherwise, it would have been done. That could be a rough area from the factory. I don't know. Let's see if we got it out of there. Yeah. You can see where there's some scratches still down there, but it's not as dull as it was. So that's just some, a rough area. And if you want to spend the time, it would polish out too. So what did we spend on this, five minutes? real time and if it didn't have that factory defect in there it would have taken even less time than that so this is kind of what we started with all right I'm gonna turn the camera off yeah that's that's good and shiny and go ahead and fix this one up and then uh, when the Sun gets right we'll go ahead and experiment with them I want to show you how to focus it in I'll tell you right now, you're just going to look at that shadow right there, and you can see that shadow when it's sideways. You want to just make as small a shadow as you can. When you make the smallest shadow that you can, then you have it perfectly aimed at the sun. I'll turn you back on. All right. And I did polish the energy drink can twice, and it helped it. That is a good bit brighter than it was after just one polishing. So it wasn't wasted effort to have to try to buff out that factory defect in that Bud Light can. Now we'll just wait on the sun to get right. And remember, you always, always want to wear shades when doing solar experiments. If you stare at that focal point for even 15 seconds, when you look away, you will have persistence. There will be a black dot right there where you were staring at the uh, focal point. And it, uh, if you stare at it for several minutes, it, it could take several minutes for that uh, dark spot to go away can't be good for the eyes so I recommend that you always wear shades when doing solar experiments it doesn't matter on something quick but it does when you're taking a long time to get ignition all 
I'm too impatient to wait. You see that sunny spot over there by that basswood tree? Let's take the Bud Light can over there and see if we can get our first ignition. All right, let's see what we can do with it. You want to find the hottest part of the focal point on your finger first. And you are not going to get burned doing this, but you are going to save yourself a lot of wasted time thinking you're at the hottest part of the focal point. And because the sun is still low in the sky, there's not, not a lot of intensity. Let's see how long it takes. Yep, I think I saw some heat waves coming off of that. Yeah, I see heat waves. Let's go find another sunny spot. Try it again. I guess you're wondering what I'll do with all that beer in there. I'm certainly not going to drink it. I hate the taste of beer. I hate the feeling of being high. So I'll probably end up pouring it out at some point, but right now I want to keep my options open and keep that shut. Try to give you some perspective of how I'm set up and where I'm at instead of all those close-ups. This is in my shirt pocket. Get the old Bud Light. Find it on my finger first. Make sure I'm dialed in good. Yeah, that's it. And then go for it. Now, it just got very, very bright. And that's because the focal point is reflecting off of the ash on that char cloth. And that's how you can tell that you have ignition when you have shades on. <laughs> where it stops nobody knows can you see it now this is 1030 sun the first one was 930 sun and this is 10.30 a.m. sun. Let's try the energy drink can. That's it right there.
trying to blow it from way back here so it'll be in the shot. All right, y'all, that's uh, the polished bottom of a soda can, solar ignition. It's a very effective way to make solar ignition. I appreciate y'all joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.